Hey guys, this is Peyton, who you just talked to, and these are my friends Jacob and Sarah. As you've already heard, we're going to be talking about some critters in our nature center, which are gophers, voles, and moles. They're actually a close relative to our friends some of us have at home, like hamsters and guinea pigs. In fact, I have a hamster myself. Here's some pictures you can see of the nature center where our voles, gophers, and moles like to play. I'm going to move the time over to Jacob, who's actually in our nature center, to talk more about who these guys are and what they do. Hi, I'm Jacob, and this is the Wood Creek Nature Center. All right, so today I'm going to be teaching you about gophers, moles, and voles. Right here, this is a gopher hole, and we can tell because there's all these mounds of dirt around us. And there's a bunch of holes everywhere, so we know lots of gophers live in our nature center. Now, what is a gopher, you might ask? A gopher is a tiny little rodent that has a tube-shaped like body for going in holes and digging. They have good claws to dig, and they eat uh, pretty much vegetation around here. They're omnivores, but they tend to lean to seeds and stuff. Gophers have cheek pockets so they can, like a hamster, they can just get a bunch of food and then go back in where it's all safe because all the birds out here, the predatory birds, think gophers are like potato chips and once you have one, you gotta have more. So to keep the numbers up, they have three to four babies, three to four times a year. So that's what, maybe 16 babies a year just from two gophers. That's a lot of babies. So we have a lot of gophers out here. Now, if a gopher gets eaten, and the hole becomes abandoned, a vole moves in. A vole is a little rodent that looks like a hamster. It's the cutest among the three. And a vole stays above ground and underground. They are gray, so they blend them with the dirt. Gophers are brown, so they blend them with the dirt. And gophers and moles come up from the surface. Now back to voles. So voles, they live in abandoned ones, right? And we know this because unlike gophers, they leave all their scraps out. So it's very messy. We can tell this is a gopher hole because it's not messy at all no traces of food, it's a gopher. Moles have one to nine babies three to four times a year because again, those birds think gophers are potato chips and voles, so once they have one, they keep eating them because they're yummy. And the last animal I'm gonna talk about is moles. Moles are by far the ugliest of the three. Vestigial eyes, which means they have little to no eyes. They're gray, they have huge shovel-like hands because they dig dirt the fastest out of all three of the animals. They eat worms and grubs, so they don't compete for food with voles and moles. Voles and gophers, not moles. And they have a long nose, which they use like a finger to find grubs and stuff. So they're just really slimy, gross creatures. They almost never come above the surface because it's safer down here. And when they do, they're vulnerable to owls, hawks, all those birds that eat gophers and voles. All right, now, since you know all the information about gophers, moles, and voles, Sarah is going to play a game with you, quizzing you on the three. So have fun.